What's going on everybody? Gustav the 13th here with another video. We've got the new suit for November 7th, 2024 here. It is the Gundam Mark V MP equipped. What would that mean necessarily? The Mega Particle equipped? No, fucking Missile Pods. It's got Missile Pods. Woo! So, I'm going to go into a little bit of a tirade right out of the gate because this is something that we've kind of wanted for this thing and we kind of wondered why it didn't have them well now we have our answer it's a whole other suit at the same cost um it's a general 650 priority two with compatibility for space as well so you know not super different but also man oh man this this could have just been a weapon update for the actual mark V. But it wasn't, so let's get through this. We got the Mark V Beam Rifle. It's got the Mark V Beam Saber. In fact, hold on. Yeah, same general... I don't even think... Yeah, nothing about this is different. This is where we started getting into the differences, though. So, the Incoms are still here, but now they're individual. There's got left and right. And it has a skill that lets you actually switch between them pretty quickly. While also having good amount of accumulation on both of those. Yeah, the rear beam cannons. In this case, they actually instant stun. Amazing. And then, of course, the missile pods themselves. We have this one. The regular missile pod is actually like a full burst that is homing and has a pretty decent chance to accumulate enough for stuns, as well as this, which is a slower rate of fire, dumb fire, but also shrapnel. Typically, depending on what you're hitting, you would hit like three of these and you would actually get enough for it. And of course it has this large shield, 15k health on that. Getting into the stats then, let us go down the line here. So this is 20k for the health, Ballistic Resistance is 28, Beam Resistance is 29, Melee Resistance is 21, Range Strength is 37, Melee Strength is 28, Movement Speed is 135, Top speed is 220, thruster gauge is 65, and turning speed is 72. So overall, not too bad. <laughs> that kind of um, melee resistance makes me squick a little bit. It's not too hard to put defenses on this thing. The medium range slottage in particular, since it's um, close to medium long for 17, 7, and 24, the medium in particular is really small. Not super great if you compare it to... The Mark V <laughs> and it's 27, 17, and 7. Obviously, you know, you'll you'll probably get a good amount of work out of that long range for 24 because you, you got a lot of stuff to throw out. And like we said, for the most part, the main gun and the melee are the same. And it didn't really lose a lot of baseline melee. It's a little bit more balanced, which is nice. But let us go down to skills here. We have Light Shock is over 3, Quick Boost 2, Emergency Evasion is just some level 1, Anti Blast Stabilizer level 1, Melee Combo Control level 1, Power Accelerator 2. So you're getting out of those clashes pretty easy. High Performance Balancer 1, High Spec Am, Back 2, Maneuver Armor level 1, Force Injector level 2, Enhanced Tackle level 4, so 95% to the attack. When tackling and plus 10% to the distance covered when tackling. Damage control 1. Special back add-on buffer level 2. So that's a 50%. Leg buffer, which is also a 15%. Um, spatial awareness auxiliary device. So this is what I was talking about when you're alternating between your incons. As long as you do it between them, it will actually be ready up really fast. And you can also put them individually on different targets or just have them gang up on one person in order to get a good amount of um, accumulation while you're doing everything else. And of course, much like the regular Mark V, it does still have Optimized Shield Booster. So it activates when the shield is equipped, enables mid-air high-speed movement as well as additional actions, reducing thruster construction during these moves. It increases high-speed movement by 10 and reduces thruster consumption at the start and of during the high-speed movement. Obviously, you lose all that if you get your shield busted, but it's a pretty thick shield. It's a little bit oblong, so... You're, you're going to get cheated out of hitting this thing a lot, while also sometimes it just doesn't seem to cover it anyway. So, you know, it's always going to be a toss-up for both sides. That's how GBO2 is, unfortunately. Going down the enhancement list, 
We get anti beam armor reinforcement. So plus one anti beam, plus one range strength, plus 102 shield HP for level three and level four. The ass and for 2690, we get that plus one to mid, close, and and long. So for the gold ones here for the unlockables are plus five to anti beam, as well as plus five to range strength. Overall, interesting. The way that they did the patterns on this thing as we go into practice and stuff. Nice. Um, I think this time around, because I've already kind of popped off a little bit. I'm going, we're going to, you know, show off the weapons here. We're going to show off the base damage and all that. And I'm going to give me some closing thoughts. And then we're going to go into the match that we had to try to get into to win. Because once again, a little bit of a pain in the ass here. But take a look right out of the gate at that reach. And you can really steer that dousing pretty, pretty handily. Not too bad with the ready up and the weight here. But because this is a hyper saver, you got a lot of reach to work with. The startup means that you get some of that advancing while you're able to um, close in. And it's just got good reach in general. So one, two, three, four, take your pick. You know, these both have at least damage control in general. So those are going to be a little bit lacking on those. And of course, the bigger thing to keep in mind is that a lot of shit is going to have that kind of stuff going on for DC. One, two, three on Hambrabi. Not too bad there. <clears throat> Let us show off that salvo once it comes back up. I'd say I kind of want to do it on him because, well, you know, I'm curious. I mean, obviously you're not really going to see a lot of hounds or anything like that. So everything that has DC, as you're seeing, is going to be a little bit short. Not by a lot, but enough for it to still be an issue because, you know, you still have a, a little bit of a wait time in between weapon switches, yada yada. So definitely not something you can, you know, neglect to keep in mind. As you can see, you can get in there pretty quickly, and because you have so much reach, even if you don't have time for the full swing from when you cancel out of your first down swing, you can at least get that first part in there again. Everything about this, even the fact that the fucking the lumbar beams that come out from the backpack stun, so you had two stuns right out of the gate, as well as a bunch of cumulative junk, it's just... This, this should have just been on the raid. But we can... Get into that all we want. It's not really going to change, right? Overall, though, from what we're seeing here, even the missiles, which typically missile pods and stuff, are a little bit more, like, lenient and kind of let us get a good amount of output against the base. Not really doing it for us here. Obviously, you, you can probably put some more range mod on this if you really want. A lot of the time you're going to be just, you know, trying to get into these stuns in order to get in with that downswing because it's just, it's so forgiving. <laughs> because of the range, there are situations, and, and obviously don't lean into this, don't, like, do it by default. But you, if you're fast enough when, out of your stun and stuff, you can actually kind of buck up against priority three suits because you just have more reach. And even though they'll go through you, if you... You know, make contact first before they even get their animation out. It doesn't fucking matter. So, you know, obviously still watch yourself. If it's obvious that you're not going to be able to throw it out first and make that, you know, little touch on their pinky toe or whatever, then don't do it. You have other things. If you're already moving in, you probably still have enough tackle to um, get in there and counter them anyway for boost. So, but overall, I actually like this thing. And I think that's the most frustrating thing about it is that this is another three-star suit by itself. Slightly changed. And, um... I think I'm gonna let past me talk about the rest of it because I, I kind of went off after the match that we had, which was already, honestly, a little bit nerve-wracking. It was interesting to see this suit slowly but surely start taking over the front line. <laughs> and considering that the next climb match is gonna be 650, I will not be surprised if we see more of this thing 
during that, especially since it's going to be simple battle. So it's it's just going to be fighting. We don't even have to really worry about base damage in that regard. But we're going to put that match right around here. So until next time, I hope you guys have a good rest of your time. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Legendary Metal Slug. The battlefield is dead ahead. Sorty when ready. All right, let's try this again. But well, once we get the one, so the one for the the Sink Soldiers actually gives us a code for tactics to give away. So once that gets confirmed and stuff, I'll let you guys know about a giveaway for that if you want to try to get it. You're on there, fault. I don't feel bad. Enemy mobile suit destroyed. Could have just not been a bitch and actually attacked him and and lived, but you didn't. Your allies been knocked out. Whoa, whoa, you're crazy. Oh, no. Your mobile suit has had it. That was like it was really good. Um, it's not. A <laughs> <laughs> it's got a really good gameplay loop. Um, some of the bosses are interesting in the way that they make you move and, and play around on them. But because it's a roguelite, you, they keep breadcrumbing you with new things and features every time you wipe. So uh, we went overtime. <laughs> good luck. But that's a that's a game we can pretty much just do whenever. To be honest, like that's not a playthrough game. Yay! Your ally's been knocked out. Is it actually just locking onto the fucking? An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. I'm so tired of just seeing smoke particles, dude. And so fucking lame. They put too many effects in this game. Your allies been knocked out. An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. Your allies been knocked out. Some serious damage. Okay. Whoa, whoa, your mobile suit isn't looking good. I guess I'll shield it. Beacons are a big deal, pilot. We should capture them. Your allies Get that other guy. Yeah. Oh my god. We keep tying. No. Stop tying. Stop dead. No. I don't want these matches to be close. I just want us to blow these dudes out and call it a day. Goddamn. Been knocked out. Three is just watching two die. <laughs> 
Even though he has more aggression in his melee, because he's a little bitch. Why do you not swing out? Just stop staring at them. Fucking shit. Does my melee not work? Like what's happening? Oh my god! I hate those stupid actions. Woo! Goddamn. They're driving me crazy. More science shenanigans. I can watch someone over in the whole lord. I should eep. An ally has destroyed an enemy. I literally streamed for like almost seven hours and then did a stream before that. Don't give up yet. Hang in there. That was like what, six hours or something crazy? That first part of the animation actually hit too, that's crazy. No 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 no. <laughs> Ooh. You're not doing anything to these guys. Fuck off. An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. We've taken some serious damage. Whoa, what? Oh, fucking wait. So the crazy, the rough thing about these guys. Staring at me. Oh no! Your mobile suit has had it. Would you say that's a the silver bullet has a a hyper saber? I guess. I don't know if it really has the same kind of reach. The neutral's not awful. Well, this one definitely has a lot more give to it. Oh my god, bro. How did I not fucking hit out of a stupid shield? <laughs> Why was I floating? Ah! <laughs> I hate that shit. No. Stupid glide structure. Fuck off. Unless I was just clipping on a stupid wing. Ooh. I'm just here staring at myself floating like I'm glitched out of the world. Like why? Give yeah, me a fucking break over here. They should. Like, all they had to do is just make them individual and, and have them have the same kind of accumulation that this does, because that's amazing. Like, that kind of shit for, like... For, like, management and stuff. That's, that's awesome. But also, they should just give it the fucking missiles. It's, it's just missiles. <laughs> Ugh, like, that's such a dumb difference. <laughs> And I just let the, the hip beams stun. And they just stun. Like, why why would one be different from the other in that way? This is, like, when people talk about... The kind of shit, oh, by the way, apparently everyone was just ganging up on me so I don't get to get my rival in. Amazing. Embarrassing. But when people were talking about Gundam Online Wars, and, like, you would have, what was it, like, the, the Zeta or the Double Zeta, and then you would have the Awakened Zeta and Double Zeta as a separate unit where it just has the stink lines. Like, GBO2 used to be able to say, well, at least this one doesn't do that. Right? But this is literally just what should have been a weapon adjustment, but put on a... 
put on an old suit, change the color for the, the typing and just like a couple other things that are like more up to date and then just called it a day. It's so, uh, it's so goofy. It's so dumb. <laughs> I like this thing. That's the problem. Like this feels good, right? But it should have just been the regular Mark V. It should have just been the raid instead of this fucking thing. Here are this battle's rewards. And it, it really makes me wonder what we're going to be getting for in between suits going forward, because let's be real. They didn't have to do this, right? They could have just picked another AOZ suit. There's a bunch of other side story suits they could have gone with. We have a billion, you know, variants of the Jagan, but at least they are actual different builds and not just you slot an extra bit of missiles on the same suit. Like, oh, that is stupid, dumb. Good work I like the suit, though, but stop doing that shit. It's a whole ass other three star suit. I lucked out getting this bitch. Oh, there you Amaral Ray Magnetic. Shut up. Here, take this. Yeah, I mean, what the the F ninety, the F ninety literally has the entire alphabet and configurations, and they're all wildly different. Fuck it. <laughs> Please. All you need to know. Like, if if you're literally gonna just make this right like this should set a precedence you're right if this is something that justifies another suit they can do the f90 suits <laughs> like even just looking at it it's so <laughs> man man oh man because even these like if you really want to get into it at least these had different loadouts and like slightly different things about them but like that's that's not it's not the same as this. It's not. <laughs> that's so wild. Man. Okay.